Hello there my fellow Hollow Table Heroes and welcome to another free free Grand Arena video. Now let me ask you a question first. Do you sometimes wish you would be able to play Grand Arena as it used to be without worrying about data crowns, just using the counters that you know and love and that they work? Well, if the answer is yes, uh, you will love today's Grand Arena because my opponent reached out to me and actually he suggested, hey, do you want to just play this round without Data Crowns? It looks like they are not big on Data Crowns, neither am I. And I'm like, sure, let's give it a go. It's been a while since I did have a Grand Arena without Data Crowns because they've been with us now for what, a, what it's been a year already or something like that with Data Crowns. Um, so, well, it is going to be nice change here of pace, not using data crons and worrying about, you know, 200 defense on Jabba or something like that. At the same time, uh, trying to remember what counters we used to use way back before uh, we had those. So I'll uh, see if I still remember them, still know how to use them. Uh, anyway, we'll go on this experience uh, together. Now, speaking of my opponent, let's give him a shout out first. Uh, so his name is Chilino Chiro. And he's a part of the Keep Firing S Shoals. <laughs> oh, very clever name. Uh, guild. So shout out to them. Uh, so before I, I show you the board, uh, let me just show you the quick comparison between my opponent and myself. So there we go. So as you can see, they've got over 1.2 million GP more than me. Uh, so this mostly means a lot of more relics than me. Uh, similar, I mean, they touched in Kyber 1, whatever, right? Uh, they do have nearly double Grand Arena Omicrons than me. We both have seven Galactic Legends. They do have more Relic units, so that's where that GP really comes in handy. So as you can see, especially if you go down here, they've got 20 Relic 9 characters. I only got two and they've got 73 Relic 8 characters. So I only got 11. So that's where probably majority of this GP difference comes from. They also have more 6 dot mods uh, than me. Uh, but then in terms of speed, my top 25 a little bit faster, but then his top 500 are faster than kind of equal across the board. Um, so not much, that much difference, I think, in mods. The biggest difference here really uh, will be in relics. He also has some uh, of the latest characters already relicked up, where, you know, minus still like gear 8 or 9 or something like that. So he will have some teams probably that I don't. In terms of data crons, as you can see, as mentioned before, neither him nor me are totally crazy about data crons. Uh, we have got 23 in total, my opponent's got 28. But anyway, that won't matter for today. Uh, in terms of the other guys, you can see he got everything. As you can see, all his Galactic Legends, well, a lot of them are Relic 9. <laughs> the only Relic 9 I have is Luke, the others are Relic 7. So definitely they do have Relic Advantage. They got Relic 9 Malgus with all three Omicrons. Um, so you can see across the board, Relic 9 Wampa, oh boy, yeah, huge Relic advantage, there you go, my Zori is not yet uh, 7 stars and Relic top. Alright, so let's hop back into the game now and uh, let me show you the board, uh, let's see if our opponent attacked yet or not, did he do something, okay, looks like they started it, some attacks at the bottom zone, uh, so they didn't touch my Malgus, didn't touch my Reva, um, they did one shot my Lord Vader, Gas and Jabba, so... I guess they did a few attacks and they just took a break, uh, maybe waiting for me or they were busy, not sure uh, why they stopped there because, yeah, they didn't touch uh, top zone, just, you know, standard CLS team here on defense, kind of leftover Inquisitors. Um, Dooku here, obviously Trench without his um, uh, data cron is going to be probably easy food because they can get dazed and everything. Uh, yeah, so just kind of bulk standard here defenses really uh, Without data crons again, I wasn't sure what to set so I just went, uh, you know I said what I would have said whether I have data crons or not. I just removed data crons from all of these teams uh, My poor man's task and team um, Just kind of left over safe here with Darth Vader and Malak um, got Geos, Afra, and again kind of poor man's resistance team there with a little bit lower Gear Zori, but I do have Omicron on her Okay, so let's see uh, what our opponent set uh, to begin with. So let's just first uh, check the top zone. Uh, says match before, no data crons here. Uh, so they said General Grievous, a sortie, dash, uh, same CLS team as I have. And then as well, the Ray Hermit Yoda ban with three Omicrons on defense on top. Not sure what it I'll do with Ray. We'll worry about it later. Uh, let's first uh, head over to the bottom and clear the bottom first just to see what's hiding in the trap zone. 
and then obviously we'll make a plan for the rest so here we got relic 8 tuscan team with relic 8 Django. now luckily no omicrons there uh on the tuscan chieftain but still it's quite a deadly team we got a relic 9 lord vader um no more no mole in there so i think i'll try fennec hopefully my fennec Relic 7 Fennec can burn through Relic 9 Lord Vader. I'm not sure that nine, does 9 Sister complicate things here or not. We'll find out. Uh, they've got Jabba, Relic 9 Kersantan with Omicron, Relic 9 Aleia. Oh boy. All right, that'll be interesting. And then we've got Relic 8 a Leftover Tuscans, of course, with Omicron on Tuscan Raider. And finally, another Relic 9 character with Malgus. Three Omicrons on him and even an Omicron there on Talon, but... I think Talon's Omicron doesn't really do a whole lot because I think her Omicron just gives some extra bonuses um, whenever uh, she deals damage to like uh, enemies that have pain and isolate so I'm not sure does it really benefit in here but anyways so yeah I think I'll just start with the uh, Lord Vader uh, bring up my uh, bounty hunters and hopefully hopefully we can burn through these guys I'm not sure how this will work it's been a while since I've done these because for the past few months, Lord Vader had had some data crawls in 3-3 specifically that, you know, Fennec had issues beating. Um, no Omicrons for me, so yeah, I'll just uh, start, kick off this round one and see if, you know, I still remember how to play this or, or if a Relic 9 Lord Vader will simply be too much. Okay, they get a few attacks in. I'm gonna go ahead and dispel. Here comes the contract. Um, hmm, what I wanna do here, maybe on 9 Sister, I uh, put armor shred on her and we'll just uh, start going after Ninth Sister. Okay, because I will descend her great royal guard anyways. Uh, sure, just take her out. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and pop her royal guard. Now uh, we got retribution on Lord Vader, yikes. Alright, let's go ahead and heal up the team, get some armor shreds. Come on, drop the retribution. Uh, there we go, no more attribution. Alright, let's see if we can now burn through this bad boy. Uh, Relic 9. Okay. Obviously with Maul it will take a while for Lord Vader to build up to the ultimate. Uh, but still, as you can see, doing some nice damage. Let's go ahead heal up again. Get an assist from Fennec. One more basic. And there we go. Alright. That was easier than I thought. I was worried that Relic 9 Lord Vader will be thicker. Uh, but, well, we burn through them quite easily. Uh, so that's a nice start, I guess. Uh, so the next uh, tough team is here, um, Jabba. Uh, so what I think I will do... Um, let's go ahead and bring in um, Kenobi. And I'm gonna put in Mace so we can do quick uh, turn meter swap when we need it. So hopefully we can get to ultimate first. Alright, uh, let's hop in the battle and hopefully this will work as well as Fennec did versus Lord Vader. Okay... Okay, they go first, that's fine. Okay, getting a few bombs out. Uh, let's go ahead, uh, reset cooldowns on Cat. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and swap with Kenobi now. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna actually go after Kersantan. Okay, all right, getting some counter attacks, good. Okay. I'm gonna obviously save for the next one. I'll just do a basic over here. Oh, did I have ultimate already? Oh, I messed this one up. Ah, all right, fine. I need a turn quickly now. Come on. Oh, that's fine. Let them do their thing. All right, let's go into ultimate. And now we can go ahead. Um, come on. Uh, go ahead, pop Leia. And now we just hit auto play. And hopefully we can burn through relic niker santan twice with his omicron i think his omicron gives him like extra is it 50 percent protection or something so it just makes him more durable um so we'll just have to wait and see uh hopefully we can finish him off and a jabba before jabba gets to ultimate yeah that's it keep going guys you've got this okay i guess shatter point for mace helps as well a little bit reducing um the health uh, there on Kersantan, so hopefully he will become squishier as the battle progresses. Jabba looks like he's halfway through his ultimate, so not looking good so far. Um, yeah. 
Let's hope if he does get to ultimate, he puts it on Kenobi or Mace, so just obviously leaving Commander Soka Tano alive. Alright, we will get to the ultimate on our next turn. Okay, looks like Jabba will get to his ultimate. This Corsant is just way too thick. Alright, here we go, making some progress. Come on guys, knock him down. There we go. Alright, set Corsant are number one, we'll have to get through him one more time. And then we'll go after Jabba, I guess. Come on, get him down. There we go. Alright, now it's a race. <laughs> uh, do we finish off Jabba before he gets to the ultimate? That's the question. I'm not sure Relic 9 Jabba is very thick. Um, my Kenobi Relic 7, my Commander Sokotano Relic 6, and Maze there Relic 5. So let's just hope he goes for Kenobi when he gets to ultimate, uh, so I can maintain high banners. Uh, come on guys, you've got this. There we go. Come on. Per Ooh, nice dispel there, Mace. Come on, come on, come on. Big hit. Come on, Ahsoka. Yes! There we go. We got him before he got the ultimate. And we ended up... Is that Max Banners 57? Yeah, I forgot already what's Max Banners in 3v3. Alright, so we got these guys down. So up next, I guess let's take care of this Malgus. Now, I've been debating what to do here. Uh, in the end, I just decided to go with Jedi Master Luke. Because in 3v3, Jedi Master Luke... He can't really counter that well other Galactic Legends, but neither does SC, so I don't know. Maybe this is a mistake, we'll just try it out and see how it goes. Okay, so this is the Luke team I'll take in. Um, obviously, we do have Relic 9 Malgus to take down, and whenever we land a debuff, they'll be recovering protection and things like that. But luckily, repulse then from Luke. Um, anytime you use him, you're reducing uh, max health and protection by 10%, maximum 50%, so... Hopefully that will be enough to burn through Malgus. So I'm just gonna start off here with an AoE. Without Darth Revan here, we can actually land ability blocks, which is nice. And then we'll just dispel the taunt on Malgus there. And we'll just start working on Sith Marauder first. Uh, let's just get him down. Okay, we need talent to come out of stealth, perfect. Let's get her down also. Uh, oof. Um, hmm. What do you wanna do here? Um, I'm gonna just dispel actually retribution. Okay, that should finish off talent. There we go. Um, let's increase Malgus's cooldowns so he doesn't uh, spread start spreading doubt. Okay, uh, do a repulse. Yeah? Start reducing. Get ability blocks. Just try to prevent uh, Malgus here from um, spreading doubt on my guys. Uh, so we're just doing that. Okay. Getting some nice hits. So far, so good. This is actually easier than I thought. Okay, good. Um, yeah, let's reduce his max health and protection. I'm gonna go ahead heal up uh, Luke here. Try to end up with max banners. Okay, let's get all those ability blocks going. And now, I don't want to call Jedi Master. I don't want to call Jedi Master Luke for assist because his basic lands uh, buff immunity. Uh, which means that obviously Malgus will be recovering health and protection. Uh, so I'm just that's why I keep calling um, Shakti uh, and look for assist. Jedi Knight look for assist, not to land any debuffs. Um, I'll just do an AOE, renew that ability block. There we go. Uh, I think that should be max banners. There we go. So yeah, Malgus, I guess, without Darth Revan, uh, Basti line there. Not that scary uh, here in 3v3. Uh, if there will be Revan in there, this could be a lot trickier. So, so far, I'm ahead by seven burners, uh, but I've got two Relic 8 <laughs> Tuscan teams to burn through. I don't really have a whole lot of experience dealing with these guys. Um, so, I'll see what I'll do versus Uru first. Um, so, actually, what I'll try, obviously, we need a way to prevent three vibes. I already used up my bounty hunters. I'm gonna save Treya in case you know, there's like some Reva at the back or something. Um, so what I think I will try and actually do is use um, Aiden, because Aiden uh, here with obviously Death Trooper, uh, we uh, we have ability to prevent revives with Death Mark. I'm going to bring in Short Trooper just for the pre-taunt, hopefully we can keep everybody alive. As you can see, quite a big relic difference, so hopefully that's not going to be too costly. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's just give this a go, I've never done this. Uh, but looking at GG data, it's a 90% win rate, so Hopefully this should work. Um, okay, well, I guess let's get this thing going. Okay. Uh, get our buffs. So we get three vibes if they do take somebody out. There we go, dispel the taunt. 
Um, okay. All right, yeah, I think bringing in Short Trooper was a good idea, just to, you know, allow Aiden and Death Trooper to keep doing damage here. Okay, I'm gonna go after him. Oh, he's coming back now, okay. Okay, okay. All right, I'll keep going. All right. Oh, they healed up. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and put some healing immunity on the board. Okay. Uh, come on, take him out. There we go. So terminate ability even without death mark will prevent revives. So this is good. So we've got one Tuscan Raider down. Well, the, old, the original one, the other one is just summoned. So I guess we have to take out the other Tuscans out next. Uh, but he keeps getting his stone back. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, so the other guy's not coming back, of course, because I defeated the Tuscan Raider with Omicron on him. Uh, so obviously then his unique is not active anymore. Okay, that was easier than I thought actually. So we'll just see if we can end up with Max Banneridge here. I think that's good use of Aiden because I don't get to use Aiden for much else to be honest here. In if we are free anymore. There we go. Nobody's putting Mon Moth on defense anymore. We have another Max Banner win. Okay, so we got one more Tuscan teams team to go before we reveal the trap zone. Now <laughs> In 5v5 this worked, so let's see if this works in 3v3. Uh, where's my guy Qui-Gon? There we go. Um, in 5v5 this worked great, uh, qui full Qui-Gon team versus Tuscans there with Chieftain. Um, again, no Omicron here on Chieftain, so I think Django then it doesn't count uh, as a Tuscan or something like that. Alright, um, let's see if this one works in 3v3 as well. Let's go ahead and find out uh, what will happen. Um, Okay, um, I'm just gonna go after Warrior first because she's got that massive damage ability once she gets, uh, is it 15 stacks of momentum or something? Okay, uh, let's go after Boba next. All right, uh, we got a dodge there. Uh, damage over time snapping my banners. Unfortunately, no way to recover. Oh man, Boba's actually doing quite big damage here. Oh, well, let's do an AoE. It's not like it matters. Okay, let's go ahead and dispel those damage over times. I don't know. Yeah, the damage over times are here really sniping banners. So it's not gonna be a max banner win, but... Do you want 55 banners? Oh, did somebody end up with full protection? Okay, well, that was nice. Okay, so it works in 5v5. It works in 3v3 as well. And let's reveal what's happening behind the door number one in the trap zone. Uh, do we have any Galactic Legends? Uh, do we have Riva? What do we have here? Oh! I've never seen this in 3v3, nor in 5v5. Asajj and Marin Omicrons. Uh, I'll have to study and see what they do. But we got standard Finn Finn Poe team. Again, never seen Seer in 3v3 uh, with Omicron on her. Uh, we got Redis and then we got Leftover Inquisitor Squad. Alright, I'm gonna take a break now just to make a plan for the rest of this, uh, the board before unlocking uh, Ship Zone and I'll be back once I'm ready. Okay, I made a plan. I'm back so I can now go ahead and continue attacking. Um, what I think I'll do first is try and knock this ray out because I think that's the last remaining team that's gonna cause that might cause some problems. I could do ray mirror match, those are never pretty. I could try star killer, those can never be pretty as well. Um, but again, trying star killer before the data crown, star killer was somewhat reliable, I think. So again, we'll give this a go, um, kind of Hermit Yoda is always a wild card in here, because if he puts Master's Training on Ray, that could mess things up. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, let's just hop in and hopefully this works. Um, that would be good, because if this works, then I think the rest of the board shouldn't cause much problems. Okay, let's go ahead and get a stun on Ben. Okay, get some shocks. Um, well, it doesn't even matter right now, to be honest. Okay, let's actually push back some Termeter there. Now, let's see if we can get a stun on Hermit Yoda. There we go, that's good. And we can go ahead and dispel all the buffs. 
Huh. I just, one part of me just want to get her Meteora out. Um, I know, I know that might be silly, but... Okay. It's raising damage immunity now. Okay. Alright, we'll just keep going. Got him in damage immunity. Let's get Ben into damage immunity. And now we need Ray take a turn. Let Ray take a turn. Yeah, let's get some more debuffs on her. Why not? Uh, let's get inspiration off her. Okay, there we go. Um, it's okay, Ray. You can take a turn. Uh, I think we have to get shock of these guys. Um, because otherwise we're just getting too too many too much turn meter for palps. Okay. All right, come on, Ray. Okay, we were able to tank this one. Huh. Let's see if we can knock out Ray down a bit. Okay, we got Ben down. Let's. Ah, uh, he's back. Um. Hmm. Okay, get bent down again. Do an AOE. Push back turn meter on Ray. Down goes Rain. There goes her Meteora. Ah, uh, it this happens often to me. Like I, I keep waiting, keep waiting to pull it out of the sky to obviously finish off with max banners, and then uh, I keep saving it in case I need it. Um, but then uh, Star Killer doesn't get a turn. But you know what? As long as I beat one shot Ray, Max Banners or not, I'm good. Okay, so from here on out, I think should be a lot easier now that we took took out Ray. Uh, so I'll go to the bottom first uh, and clear some of the trickier teams down, because I think the top I kind of know more or less what I want to do. Um, now let's go ahead and check out these Night Sisters. Two Omicrons on here. Well, like Imperial Troopers used to work great uh, versus Night Sisters, even in 3v3, but let's see if these Omicrons um, could cause some problems. Uh, so yeah, let's just hop in the battle and see what happens. I've never faced this Night Sister team before with two Omicrons. Okay, we go first. I guess we want to take out Marin first, because um, she's got some nasty Omicron, doesn't she? Let's just go ahead. One more hit. There we go. Down goes Marin. Uh, let's see if we can finish off Asajj as well. Down goes Asajj. They should take care of Talzin as well. Alright, that worked. Even the Relic 8 Night Sisters falling down uh, quite easily here. In the 3v3, two troopers. Okay, uh, so what do we want to do next? I guess let's go and see what we can do with Seer here. Uh, so I think what I'll try and do, um, I'll use my Treya. I was actually saving her if there's Riva at the back, but there was no Riva, so uh, let's see if this works. No idea. Never face Seer in 3 3, like in 5 5. Seer is a handful. Usually I just throw gas at her. Uh, but here I have gas on defense. Um, maybe increase some cooldowns. Okay, got a couple of cooldown increases. Oof, Savage uh, here doing some good work for us. Um, who do we want to isolate? I don't even know. Uh, I guess we'll isolate Seer. Not sure if that was the best play. Let's strip all those buffs over there. Just gonna probably be coming down to Nihilus, uh, taking guys out. That would be my guess. Uh, but in the meantime, just keep hitting Ahsoka. Let's get another cooldown increase. Uh, sure. Okay. Boy, they are thick though, aren't they? We're doing barely any damage to them. Uh, are we looking with the Annihilate counter? Uh, where are we at? Come on, Annihilate, let's get a turn, buddy. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and finish off Seer. Okay, Ahsoka's got a big hit coming in. <laughs> so I just doesn't care. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead, I guess, isolate Val. Increase cooldowns. I think I can just hit autoplay at this point to be honest. I don't think anything can go wrong. It'll just take a while to burn through these guys because they are very durable. There we go. Perfect. So I finish off their overpowering cal for a 57 bannerine. So that worked better than expected as well. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and try and knock out these guys out. I'm just gonna use a dash hunt chewy here. Um, I think that sh that used to work well. Like my dash is faster than their fin, so I shouldn't have problems here. Uh, I'm just gonna stun fin, and hopefully then dash can do his AOE to finish off, and from there on out should be easy. Okay, boom, boom. Oh, even better. <laughs> All right, let's unload an AOE here. Uh, get a stun. Push back some turn meter. Yeah, easy money. Easy one. There we go. Dash Hanchu doing some nice work for me here. Uh, what else we've got? Uh, okay, so uh, we need to take care of uh, these guys. Um, so I think I'll just do uh, usually Rogue One here with Admiral Rattus. Uh, especially obviously without Grand Inquisitor. This should be an easy win as well. I'm just gonna go in with these guys and hopefully we can get some nice banner in here as well. Uh, just a case of efficiency now as you can see my opponent he kept a lot of profit so i guess it'll come down to efficiency um what i want to do here um go after second sister i guess uh yep let me get a stun on her that's fine we can take a few hits here get a taunt okay now that we got eight brother out in the open i'm going to go after him Come on, there we go. All right, another Max Banner win here as well. Pretty happy with this one. Now, Red Noritis is one of those, those teams in free free that, <laughs> that can cause some problems if you don't have the right team. So maybe uh, I'll go back to the top and then see what I have uh, left here for the bottom. Yeah, I had some bad experience with Admiral Riders before, so I don't want to fool around too much. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, bring in Womp. I'm pretty sure that this should work. Um, all right, I don't know. I've never fa faced here um, the comp with Django in there with General Grievous, but I don't think Django will do a whole lot. Oh boy! <laughs> okay, that was a big hit from Django actually. But anyway, luckily we got a turn. We get our uh, bonus protection, and from here on out, I think we should be good to go. We gotta watch out for Django, that's for sure. Uh, okay, we're stuck behind B two. Okay, let's go ahead and roar. Get some counter attacks. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off Grievous, I guess. Although Django is the one doing more damage. There we go, let's get more bonus protection. Django dying off from damage over time. Another basic from one point down goes Django as well. So yeah, I wasn't sh I'm not really sure uh, what my opponent was uh, aiming at here with um, this kind of General Grievous team because General Grievous without, you know, the target lock data crons or something else. Well, it's easy put for Wampa solo. All right, CLS, um, I think I'll just do SE solo. That seems like the easiest thing to do here um, because I still have all these Galactic Legends left. So let's try and see if we can uh, do a couple of solos here just to make sure uh, we get a lot of banners on the board. So we're just going to link up Luke and going to link up Freepio and Chewie. And then I guess we're just going to have to wait for the ultimate. Uh, and that's going to be the end of these Rebels. Yeah, that's fine. Let him do some things. Um, to be honest, I can just hit auto at this point, I would imagine. It's nothing. There's nothing that can go wrong, right? Okay, there we go. We go all right in the ultimate. There we go. Unloaded. Will that count as full ba full protection? Oh, it did. Nice. 59 banners. There we go. When in doubt, hit auto play, I guess. Okay, so we got this dash uh, team to deal with as well. Hmm. I'm thinking, can Kylo solo these guys? I'm um, not sure there's... Uh, let's see. Uh, where is this one? Captive. Speed set can game to bonus turn meter. Does this work on Galactic Legends as well? Because it doesn't say it excludes Galactic Legends. Um, guess... We'll find out. Um, okay. I don't know. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, I actually go before uh, Honda then. Anyways, all right. I'm just gonna stun him. <laughs> Don't want to find out if Captive will shut down my Kalo here. Um. He's thick though, so I'm not sure we will actually be able to kill him before he... Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna go up the dash next. Do you wanna hear you over here? Um, basic. Ooh, that's a thick chewy. Relic 8. A basic should finish him. There we go. So another solo here with Kyle of 58 banners. Uh, so versus Sorty, I was debating between uh, Bad Batch and Genite Raven, so I decided to go with Genite Raven. Uh, hopefully this will work, because these guys are, <laughs> again, some relicades there. Um, I don't know. Uh, relicade sort is gonna be a lot to take down. Hopefully I don't time out or something. Okay. Hmm. Um, I think I'm gonna go after T3. Because uh, he's got that whole thing, defense penetration, doesn't he? I'm just gonna do basic. Uh, let's call Yoda for an assist. Spread some buffs. Uh, again, let's call Yoda. Okay. So we got the spare parts off. Yeah. See if we can push back some turn meter. Perfect. That was nice. Swap turn meter. I'm gonna do an AoE here. Finish off T3. Alright, cool. So now without T3, they don't have defense penetration, so their damage shouldn't be any any threat to me. Just gonna head, go ahead, mark here, sortie. There we go, another direct focus, and down goes Alfrey as well. 57 banners, so now we can actually see the sheep zone as well, what's hiding behind the door number two. Uh, ba -ba. There we go, what we got? I can see Negotiator. Uh, oh, he went for the triple threat defense here with Executor, Profundity and Negotiator. All right, that'll be interesting. Uh, but first, uh, let's take care of Redis. Uh, down at the bottom. So I'll just go ahead and do this. Um, pretty sure Ray can solo these guys, right? Has to be. Otherwise, I would be shocked if I lose. But you never know with Redis, man. Redis is a pain sometimes. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. They get a few hits on me. Okay, I do another one. Uh, hopefully this will finish off K2. There we go, K2 is down. Um, not sure what I want to do here actually. I guess we'll just keep spamming lifeblood until we get to the ultimate. Okay. Yeah, this should be fine. Basic. Try to get health back up. So we, I end up with full health. Uh, not back to full health, so I'm going to do another basic and then we'll do the alt. Am I at full health? Now oh, let's do one more. Okay, now I'm gonna do alt. Will this be enough? Uh, it wasn't enough. Oh boy. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, we'll just keep going, see if we can knock out Radis. Uh... uh oh. Not sure what I wanna do here, to be honest. I don't think I can kill off Radis. He's just too tanky. Uh oh. Guess I did disrupt in my protection. But my bonus protection is still good. Um, hmm. For how many turns is this? Whole protection, disruption, and healing immunity. Will I lose it soon? Okay, so we, we, we lost it. Alright, let's go into ultimates. So, Radis. All right, I think I'm gonna have to get to another um, world win. Otherwise, it's just they're just too tanky for my uh, Ray. She's not modded for offense, and she's only relic seven. So I think I'm just gonna have to do that. Unfortunately, this means uh, no full health. Um, so it's not gonna be like amazing banner wise, unless we can heal up now. Nah. So I'm looking 57. All right, that's still fine, I guess. Uh, Maybe I misplayed something it's the first time I tried to race solo versus Redis. Uh, but at least it's a win, 57 banners, so I'll take it. Probably if you have like maybe a Ray modded for offense, uh, then her ultimate would do enough damage uh, to potentially kill off their uh, Redis. But mine is modded for health and, and Relic 7, so yeah, it wasn't enough. All right, let's do ships then. Um, I think versus Executor. 
uh, what I'll do. I mean, I do keep my exact profundity for offense. I think, you know, I'm pretty good there. So usually I just like to do this uh, versus executors. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring up my starting fleet. Uh, let's just check out that we don't have some crazy relic levels on the pilots here. Relicate. Will that be a problem? What's the speed? 191. Uh, so no six dot mods on him. Okay, so that's fine. Um, so IG is not too quick. How are we looking with the relics on here? Relicate again. Oh man. Uh, what his mods looking like? -ish. All right. This might get ugly. Um, these are some. I've never faced such high relic. I think triple attackers with this particular counter. So that's going to be, I guess, a good test if we can pull out a win here. All right, let's hop in the battle. See how it goes. Okay, here we go. All right, so we just usually start by putting a hit on IG. Gonna ability block uh, Razor Crest. They take down TIE Fighter, that's perfect actually. Um, so I can bring in TIE Defender. Uh, land a stun on IG. There we go. Okay, do one of these. Uh, let's go ahead and dispel all the buffs. Okay, that's fine. And now we're gonna go after. There we go. We got Zanadu Blood down. Let's see if we can take IG as well. Um, let's go make sure we keep Scythe alive. There we go. IG goes down as well. They're gonna probably uh, bring in Houndstooth at this point. Because uh, I usually never am able to finish off Razor Crest before they bring in Houndstooth. Especially a Relicate one. Okay, so that's okay. We can go ahead and dispel now. No no breach on any of us. Um, do you want to bring in a reinforcement at this point? I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, yeah, I might as well. Um, hopefully it doesn't cost me banners. I'm gonna do an AoE here. Oof. Uh, so what? What will? Um, do you know what? There's buff immunity on this guy, so that could be cool to button. Mm, fine, I just go ahead finish off Razor Crest. I don't want to fool around. There we go. Finish off Razor Crest. To a big hit. There we go. Buff immunity. Maybe get a stun. Okay, I'm um, just basic here. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up a little bit. Tie advanced. Oh, okay, they healed up. Alright, let's go ahead and dispel that. Hmm. Come on. You can do it, guys. You can do it. Dispel that. I'm um, just go ahead and unload the ultimate. Hopefully that'll do some damage. There we go. Almost got him down. There we go, just before they brought in Slave 1. 69 banners, that, that's usually uh, how this battle end up always with 69. And then for Profundity, I think I'll just do a mirror match. Uh, my Profundity is only 6 stars though, so I will bring in Imperial TIE Bomber in there as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring in both Phoenix ships and then we need uh, tie, tie Bomber in here, but I do this in Fleet Arena every day, so it's pretty consistent actually. Okay, we got all the right ships. Yep, let's go. And then just Negotiator standing between us and the full clear. Um, so I think I'll use Executor there, so we should be good there also. Okay, here we go. Okay, they get a jump start on us. That's okay. I'm gonna go ahead heal up a little bit. Trying to keep my Y-Wing alive as long as possible. Okay, all right, here comes their attacks. And I'm then going to go ahead and uh, add uh, this uh, reinforced hull again, trying to make sure my uh, wiring survives as long as possible here. Okay, that's fine, come on, there we go. Finished off their wiring, perfect. We have to go after Outr Outrider next. Uh, what I've got from the reinforcements. Huh. Because they only had one reinforcement slot used so that's an interesting choice that they only brought in Ghost as a reinforcement. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what they do then um, with Phantom then. 
maybe they use it on offense uh, with home one, I don't know. What would be the reason to just give one reinforcement? It's a bit odd, but that's okay, I'll take it. At least, you know, it should be an easier win here without, um, obviously, their Phantom constantly gaining tons and stuff. Let's go ahead and reapply Burning. Uh, heal up a little bit. There we go. So now we're just down to 4, four v one Okay, there we go. There we go. Come on. Almost got him. Ah, dodged. I'm just gonna bring in Ghost now. Um, and hopefully that should be the end of Falcon. Come on. One more hit. Somebody! There we go. So that's 68 banners. While that looks bad, mind you, I do have 6 star profundity. So I'm missing 4 banners because I don't have the last reinforcement slot. So this would essentially be a 72 banner win. Uh, which versus profundity, I guess, is okay. Alright, so we got only negotiator to take down. So I'm just gonna bring in uh, my bounty hunter fleet. I'm uh, just gonna do the usual setup. Probably don't need 2 reinforcements, but uh, I don't know, just to be on the safe side. I hope this one. <laughs> One banner doesn't ca come and bite me in my behind at the end of the round. So we got all the right ships, yeah, man, we really need fleet loadouts. Uh, because it happened a couple of times that I uh, brought in wrong ships, wrong capital ships and things like that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, definitely looking forward to those uh, fleet loadouts that they announced, but we don't know yet when they're coming, but at least they're coming, hopefully sometime soon. Oh, what's going on here? Was that a Relic Knight General Kenobi? Because my Piet is only Relic 8. Which means they have a Relic 9 Kenobi, that's why they were faster than me. Uh, okay, alright. That's what I'm saying, guys. This is, uh, you have to check everything here. It's not that I would, I would do anything different, but definitely a rough start to begin with. Okay. So I just put a taunt on Houndstooth because uh, they got buff immunity on him. Okay, what I've got. Low. Hmm. All right, so I think I'm gonna bring in IG here. Oh, the guy's in stealth, unfortunately. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can stun us. Uh, that, even better, I guess. But we really need Annie to pop out of stealth as soon as possible so we can actually target him. Uh, a little bit complications here. Here comes the buff immunity again. Mm, definitely as you can see guys I mean it's a bit it's a bit um, oh they don't have a taunt excellent it's a bit of a rough here uh, beginning when when general Kenobi uh, uh, goes before you yeah but I never got around to relicking 9 Piat because relic 9 is very very rare um, to be honest material so I just kind of saving it for when I really need it and there we go Oh boy, see it's good guys, I need, I brought all the reinforcements. Yeah, it's just, it's just, you know, I like to save the Relic 9s for what I really, really need. Which is usually um, Galactic Legend requirements or something. Although we didn't we didn't have any Relic 9s, so yeah, the only Relic 9 is Jedi Master Luke. Because obviously, you know, it makes him so much better to counter Jedi Master Kenobi. And the other Relic 9 uh, is uh, Admiral Radis because we needed him for profundity. So I don't have any other Relic 9s because it's just too expensive uh, to be just go ahead and relicing, uh, you know, units that, you know, they do their job at Relic 7, 8 or 9. Uh, okay, here we go. We can go ahead and heal up Razor Crest all the way. Uh, yeah, so there you go, guys. If you want to cause some problems to your opponents, Relic 9 your general Kenobi, I guess. Although to be fair, not not many players in Kyber uh, here will have only Relic AP yet. So they go 70. Well, I probably lost about four banners there uh, because my executor was slower, but that's still okay. 2067. Uh, I don't remember anymore from free v free. Like, is that an amazing score or not? Uh, but I one shot everything pretty much in quite an efficient manner. Um, I could say if I really dropped some banners, maybe three banners versus Ray, because I didn't time, uh, you know, the ultimate there from Star Killer to get protection back. And obviously here I didn't pay attention to Negotiator. But again, not sure would I be able to do a whole lot better. So maybe in total I dropped maybe five or six banners. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I was 
as efficient as I could be. So now uh, it's over to my opponent and we'll see obviously when he will continue attacking. Uh, will my defense uh, be able to take more banners from him uh, than his did from mine? He's got a lot left as you can see on offense. I don't think he'll have issues one-shotting uh, my defense. There you go guys. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, finally like a grand arena without data cron. Just the way it used to be. The way it was supposed to be I guess in some people's eyes but hey anyways we have to deal with data crons more or less in every other round so we'll see how it goes thank you for watching guys I'll see you in the next one but until then have fun enjoy your life and may the RNG be with you my friends